All right, guys, so this review or idea was recommended to me by one of my viewers. Uh, it's I carry an official. I'll put it um, on the screen. So, but today we have a uh, Power Blocks pros and cons. I thought this was very interesting because I never really did this for like a whole video idea. Uh, I have done it in my past reviews, but not like a whole like video idea. So I feel like this would be a good idea to do. So why not do it right? So we have, so I actually have my notes here cause you know, like I'm not gonna memorize everything <laughs> with the reviews or the pros and cons. So these dumbbells definitely have their share of pros and cons. I definitely agree with just basically everything on here. Cause I, of course I wrote it, but like, you know, so, uh, and y'all seem to really enjoy these, uh, sit down videos. So I was like, why not do more, right? Like for real, like, I mean, y'all probably like the vlogs too, but like these sit down videos are pretty good too. So first pro here of course, is that they are adjustable. The power blocks have like these th this advantage over them over other dumbbells where they can be easily adjusted, guys. Like these dumbbells, whew, if you wanna go from 50 pounds all the way to 175, like I do, pull the lever out, put it back in <laughs> to the 175 slot. It is not tough at all to do, trust this. <laughs> it kinda, it, it has kinda funny how easily it is to do. So, you know, I I, I, I always kind of laugh at just like, you know, how, how about I go to 60 pounds to what to 190 or actually, okay, 190, but how about I go to 50 pounds all the way, all the way to 100 pounds and just bam, pull it out, put it back in. So <laughs> that's one pro there. Another pro is that it stores well and it's a space saver. So you'll probably are thinking like, you know, yeah, I mean, of course they're a space saver. Right? Yes, they are. But these dumbbells are great at saving space so my home gym right is not that big it's probably i don't know how many square footage is but it's not that big right and we need a way to have heavy dumbbells without actually having heavy dumbbells or a dumbbell rack so we did some research right we were like okay how about we do power blocks or like some sort of adjustable dumbbell like, okay cool but how heavy do they go and I was shocked to see that, that they went up to 175 because I literally have not heard of a dumbbell before that goes up to the, that goes up that heavy. And so I was like, okay, cool. So, and ever since I got them, they just been like chilling in the, in the corner and just like, and they have every benefit of a regular dumbbell, guys. Just keep that in mind. Every benefit of a regular dumbbell and then some. And we're going to get to that in a second. But um, of course... Another, another pro is that they go up to 175. Now this is of course the uh, commercial pro series. Now I get a lot of questions about the models, about the, the power blocks. So here's how it goes kind of. So I think the beginning model goes up to 90 pounds and then the uh, sport pro goes up to like 125 and then uh, mine goes up to 175 and that's the commercial pro series. I get a lot of questions and comments on other power block videos about how mine go up to 175. You know, they aren't, they aren't really available like in stores. But guys, first of all, I got them at a uh, fitness store uh, online, like a site. And so that helped me a lot because I don't think PowerBlock site carries them. I could be wrong. I, I will definitely correct myself if I'm wrong on that. But <laughs> keep that in mind when you're uh, buying these. If you actually want a heavy, heavy, heavy set, like you never want to max out in your home gym, commercial pro series is probably the way to go for real. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm serious, like for real. So the cons here, uh, they aren't actually. So I was having, it's funny because I was having a hard time finding cons for these dumbbells. Now, of course there are a few. I'm not going to say there's not any cons because there's cons to everything in life for the most part, uh, except uh, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> actually, no, it was cons to her too. But okay, anyways, so that was a, not a good comment to make. But okay, first con is that you cannot do certain movements uh, and I also have a couple of questions about, about this too, and I'm going to address it right now. So the certain movements you cannot do, well, main ones are like the dumbbell tries to extension like behind your head. Now you actually need to have the right bench for that. Like I don't have the right bench. For this. It's very bulky back here and it's a very, like very bulky actually. So I have a hard time doing that. And the dumbbell pullovers too, like when you lay on, your, lay on the bench and like you pull over for your chest, it's really tough to do that because they're so bulky. Like they're just so, if you go to, I would say after 80 pounds and up, they, they become like very, very bulky. I'm not saying they're like unbearable, like, oh, I can't do any workouts, but they're bulky, all right? They're, they're very bulky and at, at the same time, you gotta expect that because 
There are dumbbells that can store very easily, but then again, a regular dumbbell isn't as bulky, especially a 120 pound dumbbell is not as bulky as these. Now, I could be wrong there as well. I'm pretty sure not wrong, though. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I, I've used that before. I've used 120, 120 pounds before, and I've used these. These are uh, bulkier, for sure. Just, just, just the handles, just with the uh, the weight stacking. Everything is getting in the way of everything. Um, it's not great for certain movements, but I'm not saying it's not great for every movement because it's amazing for almost every other movement besides those two. Uh, there could be other ones I'm missing, but most part, that's kind of what it is. So, and... Another question I get, this is another, another con here. Y'all help me out a lot uh, with, with this video, with, with the comments, but uh, the weight jump is fairly high. What I mean by that is that, so if you're going from like, if you want to increase, so you know how they say that if you want to increase, you, you want to increase by two and a half to five pounds uh, with benching or, or squatting or whatever. These, I believe the, the weight jump is like 12 and a half pounds. So it goes, I see right here, it's 27 and a half to 35. So yeah, that, that's a pretty big jump there. Uh, that's like 11 and a half to 12 pounds are there. Now that's not, so that can increase injury too. If you're jumping too high, if you're jumping like from that amount of weight, that that's like the minimum amount of jump you can do. That's the minimum. If you're doing, if you're jumping that high, then you can risk getting injured, which is kind of concerning. I haven't had trouble with that yet. Uh, just jumping that high. Cause I, for the most part, like I, if I want to jump high, I can just go on the barbell. But then again, I'm not really too concerned about the injuries. Uh, just cut, I mean, the weight jump isn't that that high, but it's high enough to where you can it can definitely cause some problems. Yeah, if you have a problem with that, then I mean, so be it, right? But you gotta ask clarify something when you're having dumbbells to go up to 125 in your basement uh, that are really really condensed together. <laughs> so that's where the storage goes. And then the so this is a, this, this is one I thought was pretty um, accurate for a con. So I've had a lot of trouble with this before. Now, I don't know if y'all have, if you have them or not, but taking the dumbbells out of their, like their holsters. So what, what I'm saying is that if I have a heavy weight, right? if I have like 120 pounds, I'm trying to bench like really heavy, right? I first have to take the dumbbell out of its holster. And I, I and sometimes the other weights can get caught with the dumbbell. So it, it's hard to explain what I'm, I'm saying this right now, but so I'll, I'll try and put it on the screen for you for a demonstration. So when I'm taking the dumbbell out, right? Like it literally gets stuck in there. If it's too heavy, if it gets stuck, it's, it's very, very annoying. And I've talked to my brother about this too, and he agrees with me, with me all the way. And this is one where I'm really concerned about because if you're doing heavy weight, and first of all, you want to get the weight up, right? You, you want to get the weight up and yanking the dumbbell out of this holster doesn't give you an advantage for sure when you're trying to get that weight up. If you're going for like one rep, two reps, three, 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 three rep maxes, and you're trying to get that third rep, you're building that third rep in the gym, taking that dumbbell, my phone fell, but uh, taking that dumbbell out of its holster can definitely set you back a lot. Keep that in mind for sure. What I'm saying is that it's not, I would say if you go past 95 to 110, that can become a very big issue. Uh, on other lightweights, I haven't had the issue. Or I have, it's just like, it's not that big of a deal because I can handle it. But with the other weights, like 195, 110 and above, it's on my eye real quick, but um, <laughs> it can be an issue, it really can. So that's what, that's probably one of the biggest cons I've seen so far with these dumbbells because it's, it's just really freaking annoying, dude. It's really annoying. It, I, I can't stress enough how annoying that is to have a dumbbell you have to like just maneuver around so you can get the right angle to where you can take it out of its holster and lift it even then i try not to put it back in its holster because like it's just annoying it really is but <laughs> that's all i got for this video guys i hope you enjoy this video i have a ton more pros and cons i, I will make a part two if you enjoy this video but if you all did enjoy this video make sure to like comment share and subscribe if you guys want to see more power block videos and finish reviews just like this and sit down videos make sure to like and subscribe but guys make sure to stay fit guys hit yourself and i keep dropping my phone bro anyways okay and stay fit i'll see you guys in the next video